So hi, we're back uh, live at SoCap. Lori Lane Zucker, founder and CEO of Impact Entrepreneur, and I've got Josh Cohen here. Uh, Josh, thanks for coming by. Yeah, Josh, tell me about your uh, business. Sure. Uh, so, oh, great. Uh, so I'm the managing partner of a venture fund in New York City called City Light Capital. We invest in experienced entrepreneurs using technology to make the world safer, smarter, and more sustainable. So the sectors we focus on are safety and care, education, and environmental companies. And beyond that, I co-founded a nonprofit about six years ago called The Impact. Okay. Well, I want to talk about both of those. Uh, let's talk about City Light. Uh, what stage do you generally uh, uh, invest in? So we have two different products. And so we have a seed fund we call City Spark which makes very early $50,000 investments in seed stage companies. And the goal is to do between 100 and 150 of those companies over the next four years. And then we have a later stage fund for which we make two to $4 million series A investments uh, anywhere in the US in those areas. Great, and uh, the sectors that you're focusing on? Are safety and care, education and environmental companies. Can you give me an example of a safety and care uh, type of company? Uh, so I'll, I'll give you an example of one of both. And so on the safety side, we were early investors in a company called ShotSpotter, which is in the business of acoustic-based gunshot detection. So we put a series of network microphones in inner cities throughout the world that listen for the muzzle blast of a gun. The sensors hear that sound triangulate, and we could dispatch an officer to the exact location where the gun is fired. And so in areas where that technology has been deployed for over a year, gunshot-related crime is on an average 35%. On the care side, uh, we recently invested in a company called Ginger IO based here in San Francisco, which is a 24 seven text based access to mental health coaches. Mental health is something that affects 20% of the US population. And I'd be hard pressed to believe that the right answer is paying $300 an hour to sit down with a professional once a month. You kind of need the help as you need it. And so providing uh, 24 seven access to the bulk of the population we think is an incredibly important thing. It's run by a serial entrepreneur named Russ Glass who sold his last company Bizzo to LinkedIn and we're incredibly excited to be part of the team. I don't know, it's something in the air that my first interview this morning was with a entrepreneur from Sweden who was doing kind of early uh, 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 recognition for gun safety, um, yeah, gun violence. Reflection uh -huh. of the times. We've been involved with that company since 2006, so it's been a while. Uh, yeah, this is a new company. So, actually. Okay, so the so uh, City Light. Uh, tell me again when you founded it. Two thousand four. Okay, so you've had multiple funds, I assume. Yeah. How many funds? Uh, we're uh, four at this point. Uh -huh. And what type of investor has been investing in the fund? We primarily manage money for high net worth individuals and family offices although we have a half dozen institutions as well, and that includes both financial services firms as well as foundations. Great. Uh, so let's talk about the impact. Um, so uh, that is uh, the, uh, spell that for me. Uh, so the website is theimpact.org, uh, and it's exactly the way it sounds. It's I-M-P-A-C-T, uh, T-H-E in front, and we capitalize the I and the P. And what is it? The impact is a global network of family offices that are committing to make investments that have social impact as part of their criteria. Uh, and we do that in a way that's collaborative and is designed to further the field. I believe that you have some partners in founding that, Justin Rockefeller being in Do you have other ones too? I think there are 12 to 14 different co-founders of the organization. And how many members of the impact right now? We don't publish that number, but it's several dozen at this point. We have members in 18 countries around the world. And there will be a panel talking about the impact today at 2.30. Yeah. And uh, t so what types of businesses, what type of work, um, is, it, is, it scale, is it scaling solutions, scaling innovations? What, what, where does the membership tend to gravitate to? It really varies. And so I, I've been in this marketplace for 15 years, and I've really learned two things, maybe more, but two things for sure. One is I'm far better at convincing people to invest in what they already care about than convincing them to invest in things that I care about. And so people show up with their own biases, their own uh, philanthropic initiatives, their own value set. And so it's figuring out how to get them further on their journey, wherever their journey currently sits. And the second thing is that very few people are going to change their risk profile to meet my needs as an asset manager. And so people will invest according to their existing risk tolerance in asset classes and in geographies that match that. And so everyone creates their own 
strategies and look for their own path. And we're just trying to figure out ways to leverage each other's experiences and lessons learned to reduce the friction associated with making impact investments on behalf of a very narrow sliver of the population. There is something unique about family offices. Uh, and we think that having a peer-to-peer -peer ecosystem will allow them to get further in their journey, which in, in essence will attract more entrepreneurs to some of the largest problems that are, affect everyone. So I'm interested in how you develop your pipeline of business opportunities for both City Light and the impact. How, how does that happen? Is it the same in both cases? Is it through a, a kind of a, a, a it's your own networks or do you have uh, relationships with incubators, accelerators? How, how, do you, how do you find these companies? Um, so the impact is easier, so I'll start there. Uh, the impact doesn't source opportunities. And so I get calls frequently asking for introductions to family offices and sending me deals outside of what we do at City Light uh, with the expectation that I can introduce companies to family offices and help them raise capital. That's not what the organization is designed to do. It's a service for the families. And, and so they're not asking the organization to help out with deal flow or due diligence. They are getting some information from other members, but it happens organically and it's a member to member thing. And so as a member, I'm happy to share, but the organization is not in the business of generating deal flow. I see. Um, on behalf of City Light, we've been doing exactly this for 15 years. And my partners and I have all been entrepreneurs in the sectors in which we're currently investing. So we do have personal contacts. We have co-invested with over a hundred other venture capital firms since inception. And so we've built those relationships and pipes over time. We're seeing a lot from there. Uh, we've made significantly north of 50 investments since inception. And so those entrepreneurs that have worked with us and enjoyed that experience are sending us additional entrepreneurs. That's been a really positive source of deal flow. And then above and beyond that, we have, um, we've built a piece of technology that we're incredibly excited about that we lovingly call the machine, which is pulling data on a daily basis from sources like Crunchbase and Glassdoor and SEC filings and Twitter feeds and the web in general, looking for keywords and, and uh, entrepreneurs and companies that we've identified as being relevant to the spaces that we're in to track them and garner additional information. And that process has generated north of 23,000 companies on average a month for us to evaluate. A month? That's daunting. It's exciting. Um, so, but processing that must be really challenging. We've created the machinery to help out with that as well. So clearly I have a team of five people. I couldn't possibly talk to 23,000 companies a month, but we overlay our biases and our resources and uh, that gets us to a list of between five and 600 that we grade on a monthly basis. And so our technology is allowed to learn about what we, uh, what we consider to be high quality opportunities. And that creates a call list that our team goes out and reaches out to on a monthly basis. And so we, we've tried to make that economically efficient and resource efficient. Um, it is not by no means perfect, but it's exciting to have uh, that level of insight and reach into the marketplace. It gives us a tremendous amount of insight as to where technology is gravitating to, where entrepreneurs are spending their time. And if, if I know there's a tremendous amount of opportunities coming down the pike that we think are interesting in the mental health world, our ability to go out and get smart on that marketplace if we have longer lead time is higher. Interesting. Um, so, do you, there are a number of, uh, you know, incubators and accelerators that are you know, solely focused on impact companies. So I, I interviewed just a little while ago, Dustin Shea from Village Capital, Uncharted, uh, you've got uh, Root Capital, you got, do you engage with those uh, companies that there that are being developed there at all? We do and we don't. And so I'm, I think it's great that, that, that they're doing what they're doing. We have not candidly found that to be a phenomenal source of deal flow, in part because we over-index for experienced entrepreneurs and the people typically going to boot camps, at least historically, have been first-time CEOs who need that level of hand-holding and guidance. That being said, like I would love to find companies through those channels and we're happy to be mentors and advisors to those types of ecosystems have done that historically. Um, so give me again the domain name. Well, you gave me the domain name of uh, Impact. The Impact. What's City Capital's domain name? You can find out a ton of information at City Light Capital at CityLight.vc. That's C I T Y L I G H T dot V C, and the Impact is theimpact.org. Thank you so much for joining me today.